Dale here with EasyGrazer.com. Uh, this is a quick tutorial on how to do channel art for the new 2013 channel format that YouTube is rolling out. Um, somewhere between June and December this is supposed to become a permanent format, so a lot of people are struggling with how to change over to it, especially those with no graphics experience whatsoever. Uh, this is a uh, simple, hopefully, uh, anyone can do a type tutorial uh, using a free program called GIMP, G-I-M-P, stands for GNU Image Manipulation Program. It's a free uh, graphics program that anyone can use for Mac, Linux, or Windows. I'm doing this one here in Windows since most people use Windows. I'm going to head and get into the video here. Left click on File, Open as Layers. I'm going to select a background image. These are images that I've created and loaded on the website for anyone to use. You can just download it and go ahead and use it. It's already preset to the 21 20 by 1192 format that uh, YouTube requires. Now, a lot of people don't have images this large that they can use. They don't have a place to go get any, or they don't know how to crop, uh, you know, using a graphics program. So I went ahead and did that for you, created some... Uh, uh, copyright free images that you can use for your channel art background if you need one. Uh, so this is a layer, this is our first layer, that's a background. Like I said, it's 2120 by 1192, the exact format that YouTube requires. If you don't get your format size, uh, your graphic size correct, YouTube will reject it. I'm um, going to go ahead and we're going to need some sort of guideline to know where to put our text. I'm going to create a new layer by clicking on, left clicking on the layer tool. I'm going to use a background color of black. This is the foreground. This is the background. It's already set to black by default. Click on background. I'm going to change this to 1280 tab 350. So 1280 wide, 350 tall. Click OK. It's a solid, non-transparent uh, rectangle. I'm going to go ahead and try to align this to the center. Click the alignment tool. Click on what we want to align. Leave it as first item here. Click these two buttons here that will align it horizontally and vertically. And I'm going to go ahead and change the opacity right over here. Just click right out here. I'm going to change it and click and slide. Click hold and slide to around 20. That's going to be our safe area um, where our text can go. All this area here will probably only show up on high resolution smart TVs and this area in here will show up on all other devices. This is called a safe area because it is meant that it will show up on all devices including smartphones, small resolution uh, screens, whatnot. So we've got a second layer with our guideline on it. Now we want to add some text so we've got something uh, that defines our channel. Instead of just having an image at the top, we want to have something that says who we are, what our channel name is, whatnot. Um, I've clicked on Sans Bold and that, be, that comes with the program so you don't have to go find the font and download it. I've set the size for 120. You just type in 120 to get your size and 120px and just left click out into the safe area. I'm going to type the word graphics in all caps and I'm going to select the alignment tool again. I'm going to select my text because that's what I want to align. Click these two buttons again because I want to select or I want to align it horizontally and vertically. So right now we have uh, a text over our background graphic. It's in the safe area so it will show up on any device. Go ahead and left click on graphics, right click, alpha to selection. And this is uh, optional. This is just to give the text some definition and show up better on the background. Select filters. Light and shadow, drop shadow. Um, this default is 8, 8, and 15. I've set it for 6 and 6. Def uh, default, I think, is 60% opacity. So I'm going to go ahead and make it solid, make it to 100, click OK, and it generate a um, drop shadow for me. I'm going to go ahead and select none so you can see the text better. I'm going to go ahead and Select Drop Shadow, left click, right click, merge down. So I merged it with the text graphics. So now the drop shadow 
in the actual text it says graphics is one layer all by itself. Go ahead and view zoom this a little bit and you can see the little drop shadow here under here so that makes your uh, text pop out a little bit better. Go ahead and go back to 33 percent. So now we still have our three layers uh, our guideline layer, our text layer, and our background layer. Um, the guideline layer we really don't need anymore. We know that our text is within the safe area or the guideline area. I'm going to go ahead and left click on that layer, right click and delete. Now we need to take our remaining layers and we need to make this into one graphic so we can uh, export it out. There's two ways to do it. You can, since we only have two layers, you can right click and merge down to make one layer or you can click image flatten image now we have just one layer where the uh, text won't move around anymore and it's just one graphic next thing to do is we need to export this out left click on file left click on export it's going to give you a dialog such as this. we're going to select our extension type by expanding this scroll down so you see JPEG select that JPG select it it uh, populates this window up here with the correct format JPG I would use PNG but apparently YouTube is having some issues with using PNG backgrounds right now uh, it's a better format to use but right now since they're having trouble we're going to go with the safe format of JPEG go ahead and shrink this back down again you're going to click and decide where you're going to put it in your folder and here you can change the name it's going to default as the background image name and I don't want to write over my original free background so I'm going to go ahead and change this to background 15b go down to export click export and you'll want to change this it'll come up as 90 you'll want to change this to 100 to have the, uh, the best uh, image quality and then click export and that saves your graphic now if you all you have to do is log into your YouTube channel and up here excuse me there'll be a little edit button click on that and that will take you to where you could upload your background image now if you don't have background images or are unable to make them or do any cropping like I said I've made some free images and put on my website that you can download you just click on the image it'll bring up a new window with a, lot, a larger version of the same image right click and do save as and save it to your computer uh, if you go to uh, easygrosa.com main page you go to YouTube channel art resources and look for a link that says free YouTube 2120 by 1192 channel art banner images click that to get to this page I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was uh, easy and useful for you. And I've tried to make it as simple as possible and hopefully the simplest and less complicated how to do YouTube's 2013 channel art format. Uh, if you would, please give me a thumbs up or thumbs down whether you like it or hate it. And please subscribe. And I hope to have some more videos coming out soon with some text effects that you can also use uh, doing your channel art as well. And so hopefully you'll come back and check out my new videos as I come out with them. Thank you for watching. Bye.